Hello and welcome to lesson four of our Free Code Camp's basic algorithm scripting section. This challenge is find the longest word in a string. Okay, and it tells us return the length of the longest word in the provided sentence. Your response should be a number. And that's it for the instructions. It tells us read, search, ask. These are some helpful links. So we can start off inside our function and we'll create a variable and we'll call it, I don't know, split string because we're going to take this string and we're going to first turn it into an array. So we assign split string str dot split and we want it to split our string at every space. So let me just do this just to check what it looks like. So now our our string is now separated into an array. Our sentence is separated into an array. So now we want to well let's create a variable that's gonna keep uh, track of the biggest word. And we could set this equal to zero since in the end we want to re to uh, have a number or return a number. So after we have that, that's when we can start our for loop. And what our for loop is going to check, well the for loop is just going to go through each word in our array. So we would make a for loop um, for and then var i and set it equal to zero bar i will be our counter and we want to make sure that i is less than split string dot length and as long as that's true we want to keep going through the array so keep incrementing and as long as this is all true we want it to do this code which will be an if statement our if statement needs to check if biggest word is less than our split string index i dot length so if biggest word is less than this then the length of whatever word it's at and we want it to do this. What we want it to do is we want it to update biggest word from being zero to being whatever the new biggest word is. So we would do biggest word and assign it split string index eyes dot length. So let's see what this returns real quick. Still doing okay let me just see the logic behind what I'm trying to do. So this is passed in here. Then once this sentence is passed in we separate it into an array. Once it's separated into an array we also initialize biggest word to zero because we're starting it off as zero and every time it goes through it should be updated to the current nearest biggest word. So our for loop first takes in i zero which is our counter and it says as long as zero is less than the split string length which should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so there's nine, um, the length of our split string should be nine because our array separated each word and there's nine words, so nine would be the length. So the first time through our for loop, i is zero. So zero is less than nine, so it runs this part of our code, our if statement. Once it's in the if statement, it checks if biggest word is less than split string i, which is the the length of the which is three it checks if zero 
is less than 3. Since it's true, then it runs this part of our code. And what it does is it updates biggest word from being 0 to being split string i length. So it turns it to 3. So our biggest word is then updated from 0 to 3, and it goes back and through the loop. And then i becomes 1. 1 is less than 9. So it runs our if statement. Then it checks if 3 is less than the next part of i, which is quick, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it checks 3 is less than 5. So it runs this, and now it updates biggest word to be 5. And it goes back into the for loop one more time just to make the point clear. Now i is 2. So 2 is less than split string dot length, which is 9. So it goes into our if statement. Biggest word right now is 5. Is 5 less than? Right now we're in the third. Um, 0, 1, 2. We're in i is 2 right now, so that would take us to index 3, because we start index 0, 1, and 2. So this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's also 5. So this actually comes back as false, because 5 is not less than 5. So it doesn't even run this or update it. So it comes back into the loop, and it does it all over again, until finally it gets to jumped, which is 6. And then our if statements don't run after that, because... 6 is the biggest. Um, so it should return 6, and we should actually, oh, I gotta change this to return biggest word. So now it should be good. And we are.